A friend called me over to his gym. He had joined a buddy system and there were points that were being accumulated toward prizes. But there was a problem with how they were calculating the numbers. They were doing it manually on paper and the calculations when I got there, people were hot. And somebody said, all right, why doesn't everybody just go home, get their swords and come back at three o'clock and then we'll find out what's what. I said, look here, here's my sword right here. I don't have to come back at three o'clock so we can solve this right now or open up Excel and that's where we'll see what's what. Here's the issue. We've got these teams. KT and Coral are on a team. Marvin and Andrew, then Louisa and Otis, and then the buddy system scoring. One point for each attendance, and then four points where both partners show up in a class. So look at class A. Coral and KT both showed up. So that team gets four points. Louisa showed up by herself in class A, no Otis. That team gets one point. And Marvin and Drew get one point because only Marvin showed up. I made a pivot table. Check this out. Classes A through L. A, B, C, they both went. So that's four points each class. JKL, four points for each of those. So now we've got... 24 and then the four ones take us to 28 points for that team now how do we do this in power query here we go the data is in a table data table slash range what you are about to see is a second solution after eight hours of editing my original solution i saw something much simpler that is what you're gonna see now. Instead of going straight into Power Query, I'm gonna get these out of the way. Right, and I am gonna set up a separate table. Watch this. Names, teams. Now this needs to be a query. From table slash range. Table has headers, okay. Call this Teams. Load as a connection only. Next. Data from table slash range. I'm going to call this Classes. Load this as a connection only. Okay, now get data, merge. All right, I'm gonna put classes up top, teams, match up names and student. Do a left out of join, okay. Now to expand, I just want the teams, okay sort these classes just so that I can see. All right. Next, group by. Group by. All right. <laughs> All right, this is good stuff here. All right. I'm a group by the classes add a grouping by the teams. Then I want a count of the rows. Okay. And sort again, and we can verify KT and Coral had two in the class and then Louisa and Otis just had Louisa in that class. Now we need a two where there's a four and a one where there's a one. Now I'm gonna show you a warning here. I'm gonna add a column, column from example. I'm gonna highlight here from selection. Okay, so where there's a two, I want a four. Now this is right for what we need because we do have fours and ones where they need to be, but notice what column by example did. It has made a square root of our data. We don't want that, so let's cancel out. We have to make conditional column. All right, 
conditional column. Total points. If count equals two, then four. Otherwise, one. Okay. Why I did this is because if the club decided to give five and a half points when both people show up to a class, then we would have to redo that formula. The square root does not work. Now we don't need this count column anymore. Remove it. We don't need the class column. Remove it. We got it. Okay. Another group by, group by teams. We're gonna do a sum of the total points column. Okay. Next, we're gonna sort with that column highlighted. Sort largest to smallest. Then close and load. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay. There's our total. Let's add some data and get out of here. All right, let's scroll down. Here's the new data up to class W. Drag it into the table. Now, refresh. KT and Coral are ahead of Louisa and Otis by nine points. And that is how we avoided a nasty feud that cold Saturday morning.